The SD card socket is our next task. And while the pin pitch is a little bit finer, there's some techniques that make it equally easy. Again, grab your tweezers, work that plastic cover off and open, get it, and then just dump out the component. Now the nice thing about the SD card socket is, and it's probably really hard to see on the video, but when you have got one in your hand, you'll notice it. On the black underside, there are two little plastic locating pins. So they're doing a lot of the hard work for you in getting this component ready to solder in. So on the circuit board, you can see that there are two machine holes ready to receive those two little pins. So just put it down in approximately the right place and wiggle it around until it gets to the point where it just drops in and locks. Now you'll notice that gives you almost perfect alignment. Um, there's, uh, there's less than a millimeter of wiggle room in each direction, but you do have to concentrate on looking down this side of the socket at where the little leads, pin leads, legs that are sticking out uh, barely extend beyond the edge of the case. And, but you do need to do the best job you can to make sure that they are sitting right in the center of each of the pads on the circuit board. The good news is you're not gonna start with soldering on those pads, on, on those very fine pins. We need to, first of all, secure this in place by soldering each of these four grounding points. There should be enough flux in the solder to do that. Again, I'm just cleaning the tip of my iron. I'm gonna come down here, and this really is a matter because there's a lot of ground plane here, and there's a lot of that metal shielded casing. It's gonna soak up the heat. So you want to get your iron firmly on both the pad and the case and then let plenty of heat in and then feed a bit of solder in and then let go. Now, if that one, if in doing that it looks like the whole thing's moved a little and those leads aren't sitting in the middle of their pads, it's not too late. We've only done one point. We can just heat it up, let it reflow and just wiggle things around to get those pins back in the middle of their pads. Having checked that, it's time to do the one on the other side. So again, try not to push into the socket and move it, but just put heat down on both the little piece of the shielding that comes down and the pad, a little bit of solder, Keep the heat on, let it all reflow, and then take it away. So with those two in place, this isn't moving anywhere. But I really encourage you not to proceed until, unless you've checked that each of those tiny little legs coming out of the base of this SD socket are sitting right in the center of the pads for them on the PC board. If they're not, then just use heat alternatively on each side and just wiggle this around until it's really sitting exactly where you want it. So we'll still solder down the other two pads to make sure it's completely secure, but at this point, nothing should be moving. Don't drown it in solder. Use just enough to get the job done and no more. So no flux required so far. I've got this thing completely secured and I've got each of those tiny little leads right on top of the pads on the circuit board. So now it's time to break out the flux. I'd also recommend turning the whole thing around so you can approach those pins from the direction that you're most naturally going to be able to hold the soldering iron because again, we want to work perpendicular to the component that we're soldering in. Now, even before we get started with the flux, let me give you the sort of one warning here that will help avoid having to break out the solder wick. It's really easy to run the solder tip 
and touch the metal case. If you do that and it gets enough heat into it, solder will flow and bridge the pin you're working on to the metal case. And now the metal case is grounded, so you're grounding that, you're causing a short between the pin you're working on and ground. So you really want to avoid that and try and make sure that you're applying heat to the pad on the salt on the PCB, but you don't want to be applying heat to that shield on the SD socket. So let's get a little bit of flux flowing. Again, depressing this pen is what gets the flux to flow out of it. And let's get plenty of flux flowing around here. Once again, there's no room to be putting solder down directly onto the PC board. And you don't want to be doing that because you might add too much. So cleaning up the tip, small amount of solder on the tip, ready to flow out onto the pin you're working on. And just with the smallest amount of solder, a hiss of flux, when the heat's up, you might need to rotate your soldering line to get the available solder down facing the pad. 